Hey YouTube fam, get ready for the latest scoop in the entertainment world, we're diving into the roller coaster journey of none other than the sensational Yang Mi. Yang Mi, the powerhouse who rocked our screens with hits like The Palace and Swords of Legends, faced a bit of a rough patch lately. Dramas like Novaland Pearl Eclipse and Thank You Doctor left audiences feeling less than impressed. But hold up because this girl isn't throwing in the towel just yet. Last year, Yang Mi shook things up by parting ways with her longtime gig at Jiaxing Media. And guess what? She bounced back stronger than ever. Brace yourselves for her spy drama in the name of the brother where she's flexing those acting muscles in a whole new light. But that's not all. Yang Mi is taking over the big screen with Nothing Can't Be Undone by a hot pot hitting theaters in China this May. Now hold on to your seats because we've got some real drama off screen too. Yang Mi is locking horns with Zhao Liying for a role in Chen Kaiga's upcoming film, Zhang Yuan Nang the Murderer. The castless drop on Doban had fans buzzing, with Zhao Liying stealing the spotlight. But hey, let's not jump the gun, we're still waiting on that official confirmation. Our girl Yang Mi, though, she's cool as a cucumber. Just check out her recent Weibo night appearance, slaying in a backless blue Changsam like a total queen. And get this, she even let her fans decide the outfit. Talk about a connection. Fast forward to the 15th and Yang Mi's rehearsing for the Spring Festival Gala at CCTV. But whoa, plot twist. A stranger pulls a bizarre move, touching Yang Mi's head and giving her props. Cue the drama, even with a mask on, Yang Mi's expression screamed surprise and a hint of displeasure. But hey, instead of going all Hulk mode, she handled it like a boss, calmly telling the dude, don't touch my head. Let's talk about emotional intelligence, people. Yang Mi schooled everyone on how to keep your cool. Netizens are all over this, saying, if this was someone with bad intentions, who knows what could have gone down. Switching gears to the world of Chinese entertainment, enter Ju Zudan, known for Heavenly Sword and Dragon Slaying Saber. Her career's been on fire, with roles in upcoming dramas like Fox Spirit Matchmaker Yue Hong, Burning Flames, and Eternal Night of Star River. But hold on to your hats, folks, because things took an unexpected turn when producer Yu Jung spilled the tea. According to him, Ju Zudan supposedly agreed to play a supporting role in Liu Yuxiao's new drama, Perfect Match. But bam, she pulled out just before filming, leaving Yu Jung no choice but to bring in Wu Yi as a replacement. Now, the plot thickens as the online world erupts with behind-the-scenes drama. Even the Chinese paparazzi are chiming in, expressing some sympathy for Ju Zudan. It's a full-on spectacle, and everyone's hooked. During a live broadcast promoting Perfect Match, Yu Jung didn't hold back. He indirectly accused Ju Zudan and launched a verbal assault, claiming she initially agreed to be the second female lead but jumped ship for a lead role in another drama. He even aired conversations with her management company, throwing shade at her character and integrity. And the saga doesn't end there. Despite attempts to calm the storm from Ju Zudan's management, Yu Jung kept the heat on during the live broadcast, stirring the pot even more. Naturally, Ju Zudan's fans weren't having it. They spilled the tea that Yu Jung initially hinted Guli Na Jia would be the lead, with Ju Zudan settling for the second female lead. But when the cast was revealed, Liu Yuxiao got the lead spot. What's more, there was no signed contract, and Ju Zudan got an offer for another drama where she'd be the lead. A logical move, right? But wait! There's more. Yu Jung hit back on Weibo, and Chinese paparazzi photographer Liu Big Hammer weighed in, saying it's all part of the entertainment industry audition process. Actors choose roles, and given Ju Zudan's seniority, who can blame her for aiming for the lead? So buckle up because this drama train is full steam ahead and we're here to keep you in the loop. Now the mystery and drama around Chinese Paladin Season 4 have fans itching for answers about Ju Jingyi and Chen Jie Yuan. What's the deal, and why haven't we got a confirmed airing date yet? Let's dive in. Now, Chinese Paladin has been a TV series staple since 2005, and the latest installment is bringing in Zhu Jingyi and Chen Jie Yuan as the main stars. Fans have been on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting the release. But guess what? The drama, set to air on Aichi, still hasn't got a green light. Even the official Weibo account of Chinese Paladin 4 went silent after the early days of shooting with Zhu Jingyi and Chen Jie Yuan. And here's the real kicker. The list of other main cast members is still under wraps due to billing conflicts. What's billing, you ask? It's all about who gets their name on top, with higher popularity snagging the prime spots on the official poster. According to the grapevine on Weibo, Ju Jingyi's fans are pushing the production team to spill the beans on the main cast lineup ASAP, sticking to the original contract. Rumor has it that Ju Jingye signed on as the first billing, giving her a higher position than Chen Jie Yuan indirectly. And you betcha, Chen Jie Yuan's fans are standing firm, 
only acknowledging the official lineup dropped by the Chinese Paladin 4 drama team. But wait, it gets juicier. Netizens are calling out the production team, claiming they've made a massive goof by keeping the main cast names under wraps since day one of filming. And get this, radio silence even after shooting wrapped up, leaving the airing schedule hanging in the air like a cliffhanger. Get ready for some sizzling drama updates because First Frost is stealing the spotlight, we're talking top-tier casting, intense competition, and a whole lot of buzz. Let's break it down. So, Bai Jingting is stepping into the shoes of the main man, Song Yan, in First Frost. But hold on to your seats because the competition for the leading lady, Wen Yifan, is no joke. And guess who clinched the role? None other than Zhang Ruonan, folks. The drama's already got us hooked, and we're dying to see these two set the screen on fire. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it that the genius behind the scenes is none other than Taiwanese director Chu Yaoning. Yeah, you heard it right, and brace yourselves because Zhang Miaoyi, the breakout star from When I Fly Towards You, is reportedly joining the cast. Remember the explosive chemistry with Zhou Yiran in her previous drama? Yeah, she's bringing that magic to First Frost. And that's not all for Zhang Miaoyi. She's also flexing her acting chops in the upcoming drama Guardians of the Da Feng, alongside Wang Huddy and Tian Shiwei. Talk about juggling success like a pro. Now, let's talk about the man of the hour, Chen Haoshen. This guy had a killer year, no pun intended. It should be noted that Chen Haoshen recently took on roles in some new Chinese dramas, portraying both a mysterious killer and a resolute Tong in Snowy Night Timeless Love, or a classy urbanite Luo Ma in in between, there has been much discussion about his performances. He's diving into First Frost, showcasing his versatility after taking on roles like a mysterious killer and a suave urbanite in recent Chinese dramas, netizens can't stop raving about his uniqueness, and judging from the drama posters, it looks like he's nailing it. The online world is buzzing with excitement, and netizens are going all out discussing the powerhouse additions of Chen Haoshen and Zhang Miaoyi to the first Frost cast. The anticipation is real, folks. That's the sizzling entertainment update for today, YouTube fam. What are your thoughts on these dramas? Drop them in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, keep it lit.